stating the need for eyewear seems to be a top priority for the electronics industry. It is true that this year's crop of goggles are lighter and more stylish, but a lot of people in the 3D world want to smash the specs once and for all. And thinking about it, there are a lot more uses for 3D screens if the need for glasses is removed. Navigation in cars, for example, or just everyday smartphones. Toshiba has invented a laptop that plays ordinary media files that look flat until you get close. It is a 2D picture that you're actually approaching to it. Once you approach it, you need to stand for just a moment and let the computer recognize you and make connection with your eyes. Once that is done, the picture at that time is transformed into a 3D image. A major drawback is that only one person at a time can watch in 3D. Toshiba's 3D glasses-free TV screen does allow for multiple viewers, but no matter where you stand, the image tends to look fuzzy at the edges, and generally the picture is blurry enough to be unwatchable for long periods of time. In fact, that was a common problem with a lot of glasses-free 3D technology at the recent Consumer Electronics Show. I did find a couple of exceptions, though. This is a prototype from Sony. It's a Blu-ray 3D player. It's glasses-free and it's portable. The uh, ideal way of viewing this is to put it on your lap and to tilt the screen backwards and forwards until visually it connects with your eyes and you get a perfect 3D picture. It takes a bit of practice and a lot of manoeuvrability to get the angle absolutely right. That probably means smaller gadgets are likely to be sold in shops for the foreseeable future. A good example is Nintendo's 3DS, which is slated for release later in the year. Sony has embraced glasses-free 3D across several of its product lines, including stills cameras and several video camera models. The screen on this camera uses what's called a lenticular system, so if you don't have 3D glasses or a 3D TV, you can actually get a 3D playback on the camcorder's big bright LCD screen. Of course, all those 3D clips and photos are just begging to be shown beyond their cameras. And a big 3D TV might not be affordable or practical for many consumers. So this year, there are likely to be a whole new range of glasses-free photo frames, and many will be backwards compatible. What this allows you to do is take any 3D image and view it in 3D, any 3D video and view it in 3D, or you can take any 2D digital image or digital video and it will automatically convert it into a 3D image. This type of 2D to 3D conversion underscores the industry's need to create, however crudely, 3D content. It's badly needed to encourage uptake of 3D hardware. Kodak showcased a primitive version of printing 3D photos at home using a regular color printer and an ordinary camera to take two photos three inches apart. Hmm. As well as the inconvenience of having some really old-style 3D glasses lying around, the results vary depending on how steady the subjects are between shots and if they're spaced out far enough from the lens. But Kodak is already working on an advanced process for covering the prints with a 3D plastic surface. In other words, taking us right back to square one with the sort of cards that kids have been fishing out of cereal packets for decades.